Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing GGII, HPCO, NERV, CFVI, BBBY, TONR, TXTM, AVCT, RVPH, and WEBR. But before we get into all that, uh, make sure you click that link in the description. Go to signup.insiderfinancial.com so that you do not miss any of our alerts. You can sign up with your email and your mobile number. Mobile, it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, it be one plus area code and number. And guys, we are a completely free service. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. And remember, we are not financial advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult your nearest financial advisor. This video is a nice solicitation or recommendation by Seller Hold Securities. This video is our opinion. It's meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. All right, guys, let's get into this. Uh, first up is GGII. Guys, it was a case of buy the rumor, sell the news uh, on the HPCO uh, IPO, which hits uh, tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be 1 million shares priced at $6. Uh, let's see how it performs. Uh, that's what everyone's watching right now. Uh, we know these IPOs lately have been going crazy. Mainly it's been uh, Hong Kong and China IPOs, MEGL, uh, HKD. Uh, we had the Malaysia IPO the other day. Um, so let's see how it does. But, you know, guys, GGII, I mean, it 20 x in five sessions. Uh, this the RSI got extremely overbought. This was profit taking. Uh, I know a lot of people came in and uh, at the end of the day bought the dip. Uh, let's see how it plays out. I hope it, it works out for everyone. But this has a bloated share structure. I mean, GGII is looking at a seven hundred and thirty one million dollar market cap at current prices. Um, just a lot of stock out there. Um, so let's see what happens uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will be watching. Uh, the big runner today, uh, nice move here, NERV. -E I've been talking about this one since last week uh, on the 24th. Uh, it opened at $5.39. Today it hit $14.42 for potential gains of 167%. So congratulations to subscribers who banked in NERV. Uh, this was a multi-day runner. We love our multi-day runners uh, here at InsiderFinancial.com. So just so you don't miss any of those uh, plays, make sure you click that link in the description. Sign up for all of our alerts. Uh, next up, guys, is CFVI. Great day today. Uh, a lot of things happening. We have the vote com coming on the merger with Rumble on September 15th. And the big news is Andrew Tate, he got deplatformed from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and he's moving over to Rumble. Rumble is a competitor to YouTube. It's building up a major, major following uh, for those that uh, don't want to deal with the wokeness and the, the speech, free speech police. Uh, Andrew Tate, he has a huge, huge following, and uh, this is going to be big, big news for CFVI and Rumble. So uh, definitely uh, keep your eye on this one. It closed at 11.79. It's bidding 11.91 in the after hours. Uh, certainly one here. We had a major breakout. This was a trend line resistance right at $11. We broke out here. Um, this one here was uh, $18 back in February. Uh, we really think this one uh, can really get going uh, uh, much higher now that we've broken through this resistance. So definitely a CFVI, uh, one to keep your eye on. Next up, guys, is Bed Bath & Beyond. Really happy for the, the apes today. Uh, if you go to Wall Street Bets over on Reddit, Bed Bath & Beyond is all they're talking about. They're not talking about AMC. They're not talking about GameStop. It's Bed Bath & Beyond. So this one here, uh, 
almost 40% of the float is short. Uh, we got strategic updates coming from the company on Wednesday. Uh, market getting excited about that. We closed at 1335. We're bidding 1379 in the after hours. So again, a lot of uh, a lot of excitement here. And the RSI is still uh, neutral. We're at 56, so we got a lot of a lot more room to run here in uh, in Bed Bath and Beyond, and uh, let's see how it plays out the, uh, tomorrow. Uh, next up is T O N R. I really like this chart. Uh, we're we're poking up here. Uh, closed up 37% today. Um, you know we're pink yield right now. Uh, Pink current coming any day, uh, and just a $3.6 million market cap. So we really like these uh, low market cap reverse merger plays. Uh, we got updates coming, so T-O-N-R, uh, keep your eye on this one. And I mean, this one is it has a history of making major major runs. So uh, could be setting up here for another major, major run here in T-O-N-R. Uh, next up here is uh, TXTM, a uh, company saying that updates are coming, uh, $22 million market cap, so uh, TXTM, I like this chart here, we got this uh, bottoming action here, uh, 0 0.002, uh, making a climb up here, so uh, big following, a lot of people really like this name, so uh, definitely uh, another one that is uh, looks to be making a, another move. Uh, next up, guys, is AVCT, uh, big run, the big runner of the day, uh, closed up 156%. Uh, this is a classic short squeeze with 15% of the float is short. Uh, really caught the shorts off guard today, uh, and we're also bidding 46 cents in the after hours. So continuation in the after hours, really like this action today. Uh, major, major volume spike, uh, and uh, you know this one's got a 52-week range of 13 cents to 4.97 so uh, this one can really uh, really get going here and there's there's a lot of room to make up uh, in AVCT so uh, keep your eye on this one and I'm not seeing any res major resistance until we get to that uh, one dollar level so uh, we got a lot more room we can run in AVCT uh, next up is RVPH, uh, another one bidding, uh, it was up 55% today, uh, we're bidding uh, 277 in the after hours, uh, this one has a $10 price target, it was initiated by HC uh, Wainwright earlier in the year, uh, just uh, 12 million shares in the float, $43 million market cap, so uh, this one here uh, breaking out here and uh, you know blue skies ahead, so uh, again this, this one uh, we got a 52-week high of 466. Uh, we could easily uh, get there uh, this week. So definitely uh, RVPH. Uh, keep your eye on that one. Lastly, guys, is uh, uh, the really, really nice chart here in, in Weber, W-E-B-R. Uh, really bottomed out here uh, uh, at the... Uh, uh, just under uh, six dollars. Uh, got a double bottom here. Uh, put in a lot of support. We're running into uh, resistance here at, at ten dollars. Uh, we close above ten dollars, and this one can really get going. Uh, just under twenty-two percent of the float is short. Uh, this is another one that is picking up a lot of chatter on uh, Wall Street bets. Uh, so uh, this is a. a one that they're looking to make as the next big short squeeze play. So keep your eye on this one. Closed at 986. Uh, we're trading 990, 10 on in the after hours. Uh, so I, I will definitely uh, keep my eye on on this one. But right now, you know, everything's still focused on, as I talked about in the weekend video, everything's focused on uh, the overall market. Jerome Powell, are we going to be going in? Is he going to drive us into a recession uh, or not? Uh, market's uh, choppy today. Uh, oh, ended up, uh, you know, opened on the downside uh, and then they rallied it back and then we couldn't close on a positive. So the market still sold off. Uh, we'll be watching this week. Um, 
again, make sure you click that link in the description to sign up for all of our alerts. Um, I'll be looking in the morning, uh, pre-market, looking at uh, news, flow, short squeeze plays, and uh, you know, sending out updates to our subscribers. Uh, we do all the work here, uh, you know, put out full reports, uh, and then you can do your own due diligence. Uh, we are not financial advisors, but we're here to provide a free service and help you guys as much as possible. With that being said, I want to wish everyone good luck on Tuesday. Uh, let's uh, focus on turnaround Tuesday. Hopefully the market turns around overall on Tuesday. But again, today, thanks to NERV, uh, was a good day for uh, uh, here at InsiderFinancial.com. With that being said, again, good luck to everyone. And I'll be coming live to you uh, tomorrow after the bell with a new video update. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.